In this video, we will explore the various functions and settings that the BT Link program has to offer. Click on this button to launch the Patient Manager. From this window, you can search for a specific patient, add new patient information, modify existing patient information, and delete patient information. Be advised, when searching for patient information, be sure to click the Include Discharge Patient list to ensure that all past and present patient information is available. Clicking the gear icon will open the Software Settings menu. The first tab in the Settings menu is the General tab. In this window, you will be able to change the display units of measure, such as temperature, weight, and pressure. The next set of parameters have to do with the display of the program. Under these options is the Monitor Display Settings, which allows for the option of a windowed mode of the program and to demonstrate number of display monitors. BT-Link allows for two monitors to display the patient data from a Bionet patient monitor. The number of monitors displaying the data will be shown as one or two images of a computer monitor. Be advised, when using windowed mode, the program will be sent to the system tray in the lower right-hand corner of the taskbar. To maximize the program again, simply double-click on the BT-Link icon in the system tray. The next setting is the screen auto lock. This option will place a one-time lock on the screen so that changes cannot be made without a password. The screen lock will activate if there is no movement detected from the mouse or keyboard within the time frame set by the user. Be advised, if you wish to use this feature, you must first set up a password, as the program does not have an initial password stored in the program. The next setting is the alarm setting. This allows you to change if alarms are enabled across the entire software and under what conditions alarms are triggered. Be advised. Disabling alarms here will disable alarms entirely, even if they are enabled in the client window. The final setting on this page is the default client setting. These allow you to alter the default settings for when a client window is created. The next tab is the system tab, which offers additional settings for BT-Link. The first setting is the database auto delete. Enabling this setting will automatically delete any data older than the setting on the right. The maximum duration setting can be set to one, three, or six months. Following this are the automatic recording settings. These options allow the program to automatically record data when the patient monitor is turned on or when a patient is admitted into the program. Select the client window setting to enable the program to close after losing connection with the patient monitor and how long after disconnection for the program to shut down. The HL7 setting can configure IP information to send HL7 format data to an external EMS server. You must input the server IP and port number of the receiving server and decide the interval at which you would like the data to be sent. You must also determine if your server requires an acknowledgement message confirmation. The final setting on this page is to set the file path destination for patient data and what language the program will be displayed in. The current version of the program is displayed above these settings. The last functions we will demonstrate in this video are the buttons in the right corner above the client window and underneath the time and date. The first icon on the left is the Acquire Data function, or Batch Mode. This function allows the user to acquire data that is saved in the patient monitor. The Patient ID window is to retrieve data from a specific patient using a previously appointed ID. If this field is left blank, the program will acquire data from all patients. The period field allows the user to stipulate how far back they would like the data. For example, a setting of one hour will acquire only the last hour's worth of data from the monitor. The interval allows you to determine the time between data acquisition points. Once the patient ID has been input and the options made, press Acquire Data to have this data displayed on the screen. From here, you may press Copy to Clipboard to copy this data into your computer's temporary memory for the purposes of pasting into a separate document, or Save As to create a CSV file on your computer. Cancel will close the Acquire Data window. The next icon is the Admit Patient function. This window will look very similar to the Patient Manager window from earlier. The functional differences with this window are the display of information from the patient monitor at the bottom of the window and the ability to admit or discharge a patient directly from the patient search results. Once a patient has been admitted, a new icon for recording patient information will be displayed above the client window. Pressing this button will start recording the data from the monitor and a time display will appear which demonstrates how long you've been recording. Press the recording button again, now changed into a stop icon, to end the recording of patient data. The next icon is the alarm icon, and this will enable or disable alarms for the program. The final icon is the client setting icon. 
Opening this window will allow the user to adjust the settings on the display of data within the client window. You also have the option to restore settings to default settings with the button at the top of the menu. The options on the right of the display setting allow you to change the data on the patient monitor itself. Any data that is changed in these four settings can be sent to the monitor directly, and you will see the changes reflected on the monitor once you hit send and confirm your choice. This menu also allows the user to start or stop the non-invasive blood pressure cuff on the machine directly from the program.